Protectors of the Suna Suna Protectors of the Suna بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته You are welcome everyone uh, I would like to talk about uh, Muslim are different from uh, un-Muslims We need to uh, keep our aqidah, our iman um, would like to not look like on Muslims and all habits and all traditions. Uh, at this day, we suffering from uh, uh, Western civilization and we are, we are suffering from uh, we try to be looks like an Muslims. Try to be like an Muslim in wearing, in drinking, and eating. We try to be looks like them uh, until unlawful relationships. We are suffering from uh, new habit. It's a Valentine Day and celebration of Valentine Day, Valentine Feast. Muslim should be no. We have two Eid, we have two feasts in Islam. The feast which come after fasting Ramadan and the feast which come after Arafat day and we need to understand if you try to be like a Muslim in all habits and all traditions your aqidah will disappear it will be no different between Muslims and Muslims it is not it is will be it is will be not different between islamic and christianity we need to understand we have a, we have a deen allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep this deen this religion to us inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun allah revealed this quran to prophet muhammad peace be upon him and Allah will keep this Quran until the day of judgment. And you need to understand to learn your child, learn your children, learn your, your son, your daughters who are a Muslim. It is allowed for to celebrate the Valentine Day and to commit adultery by by naming love, love, uh, adultery called in this day is uh, love. Adultery, if you want to commit adultery, you can do it. And you, if anyone asks you, you do this, this big sins, you will say, no, this is love. It is not adultery. You are stupid. But try to change the names of sins. We are try to change the names of al maasi of the sayyat, of sins. We, we named adultery 
is a love. We need a lawful relationship between man and woman. It's a friendhood, friendship. We need the unlawful uh, money, riba. We we called it treatment. We called we named the drugs take drugs. It is not uh, it is not harm. It is not unlawful, but it is helping me to be active. And we. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us we will see the time which the saints will named uh, by uh, lawful names and drugs will call um, uh, Drink uh, for energy or what? What you uh, what you name? I don't know. And we say adultery will named. It is a love. Uh, really, we have a big problem because all Muslims, except Illa uh, Marrahim Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, try to be looks like and Muslims in all habits. And we say we. I say today, the celebration of Valentine Day, it is unlawful, and it is uh, since if you go to a shop and to buy a present for or souvenir for your girlfriend or for boyfriend, and you say it is love. I would like to give her a present only. It is not present. It is not. Uh, there is not a relationship between me and her, but only I give her a present, a souvenir, because this day of love, Valentine Day. If you know this, uh, the Valentine, it is one from Romans, and and it is uh, a feast of Christ, Christian or Romans, and. When you have Eid and Fitr or Al-Adha, they are not celebrate with you. They are not celebrate with you. You need to understand you have Aqeedah. And we have a different civilization. Our, our civilization based on the Holy Quran and the Hadith which related from Prophet Muhammad, which be up in him. We need to understand this meaning and you try to uh, apply this is meaning for all your life. Try to do this meaning, try to use this meaning, use the try to use the two. To uh, understand this meaning, we are a different civilization. If you want to match your your life in the West, okay, but don't commit a sins. Don't try to uh, make their acts, their deeds. Don't take them an idol and an model. There are not idol for us. There is not good character from us. Our idol is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The one, whoever uh, you must follow, it is, Prof, uh, is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and uh, his companions. We need to understand and we need to uh, be proud. You need to be proud with your religion, with your civilization with your culture. We have a different culture. Our culture invite us to be intolerant, to be uh, also to, to behave others by kindness. But our culture learn don't be like them. Okay? 
behave on Muslim by a good way, but don't be like him. Don't try to look like him. Don't try to do the same thing which he did. And you call this is um, it is uh, different. It is different culture, and we need to to match my life and try to. I don't like to be strange in this society. I don't like to be uh, a strange man. I would like to match my life. No, no. You match your life, but you lose your deen, your religion. You need to understand this meaning and you be careful. The more you increase the sins and you name these deeds, uh, the culture and you match your life, the more you decrease your Iman in your heart. You need to understand a man increased by good sins and decreased by committed sins. Celebration of Valentine's Day it is allowed also to create a new face, a new celebration. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, didn't do that. And his companion didn't do that. It is allowful, it is bid'ah. And we need to understand this meaning and we need to learn our children. To learn our children. Ah, my baby, we are in here only to get a, to get better life. But we are not here to be like him in adultery and take drugs or to make a lawful relationship between man and woman, to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you need to uh, be careful and you need to take your, intention, your attention and you need to make a separation between our culture, between our civilization, between our teaching of religion and their religion or their teaching of uh, West civilization. Um, I, I will accept uh, and this is my uh, summary from this uh, happy civil celebration of Valentine's Day and, and we can discuss uh, all the questions if you have. Okay, we have a question here from one of the um, kids. This is one of the kids. One of the kids on, um, this is your child. Okay, how old is he? Okay, she said her son is, um, he's 10. Okay, what's the question, sweetie? Go ahead, type it. He said, can he take uh, candy on Valentine's Day? Take what? Candy. He said if they give him candy on Valentine's Day, can he accept it? He's 10 years no. old. No, you learn him to this day of celebration. You need to change this habit. Okay, Sister Marianne, go ahead. Marianne wants to know, does that mean we cannot celebrate anniversaries with our husbands? A wedding anniversary? Mm, you know, if you would like to, uh, to celebrate with your husband with a Valentine's Day or the day of wedding, I don't know. She said the wedding, not the Valentine's. Just say... Yeah, your wedding... Okay. Um, it is an occasion, but it is not a feast, it is not a Eid, but it is, it is occasion. You can buy a souvenir for him and to give him, but it, you, you do that, but you do that to be, um, to be kind with your husband, to be uh, beautiful with your husband, no problem. But to make this Eid, it 
is not Eid. It is an occasion. It is an occasion. Okay. Okay, so one of the sisters here is asking, so if her husband decides to bring her some flowers and chocolates on Valentine's Day, she should they should not do that. Yeah, you, you will force him? No, no, but you will learn him. I accept it, but I accept the, this your souvenir because you are my husband. Uh, no problem, but you must know and you must learn you, might, you should be there. You, it is not a Eid. It is not. Uh, it is not from our civilization or our culture. We need to understand if he give you this uh, souvenir, well accept it. But you learn him. I accept it because you are my husband, and uh, I should be okay. But it is not for uh, celebration of uh, Valentine Day. One of the sisters here says, uh, what if the school that her kid, her son attends, they want the kids to color Valentine's? Can she keep them out of school for that day since they yes. make children do that? Yeah, they, they are trying to change uh, their mind and to make them, uh, when he uh, grow up, uh, to be like them. What is the problem if you... Uh, prevent your child to go to school in this day. Exactly. Brother Haytham, do you keep your children out of school on that day? Yes, yes, out of school. No celebration. <laughs> yeah, excellent. <laughs> yes, never celebrate the Valentine's Day. Never. No yeah. chocolate. No candy. No chocolate. No, chocolate, no flower. You, you have all year. All, all year. All day, give them flower, give them chocolate, give them souvenir as you want. But in this day, it is uh, allowed because you, allow, you, you try to look, be looks like them and Muslims. We have a brother here. They he try. Said, they are trying to change our aqidah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. This brother says that his wife. If he does not give her chocolates on Valentine's Day, she gets angry and threatens to not sleep with him. He said so. He should just okay. not give you her. Okay, you can buy a chocolate. You can chocolate. You can buy a chocolate um, in thirteen of February, not in fourteen. And you will tell her it is a, it is your chocolate. Uh, if you want to uh, give your, uh, if you want to do it. Uh, <laughs> You, you can escape. You have a lot of ways you can escape. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's all I got from Facebook. Guys on Facebook, uh, Zoom, go ahead. Take the mic, you guys. Okay. Marianne, she said, so we can give flowers and stuff to our husbands and wives, but just not on Valentine's Day. We need to the uh, the celebration of this day. We need to this day is uh, the celebration of this day to disappear. Muslim not celebrate. We are celebrating with fasting yeah. Ramadan. We are celebrating with reciting the Quran. We are celebrated when we go to a mosque in Gumma. This is our celebration. Just, uh, yeah. You would like to celebrate uh, with a day of adultery? Yeah, we guys, we have to realize too, when something contradicts our Islamic morals, then we don't take part in it. Valentine's Day is a day for men to give flowers and candy to their mistresses as a way of letting the mistresses know that they are special. We don't believe in fornication. So why would you want to take part in a holiday that is really reserved for your lovers, your mistresses, the people you fornicate with? You know, if it contradicts Islamic morality and you leave it alone and you teach your children, we don't have girlfriends, we don't have boyfriends, we don't have yeah. mistresses and lovers. 
you know, so this is something serious, guys. Think about the replications of that. And you need to 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 be, uh, and you need to be a lovely woman with your husband all days. Don't uh, make uh, only day to give him a souvenir, give him a present. No, try to make your life uh, yeah, better, and you try to improve your life with with him. Not only in this day, we need to treat ourselves and we need to behave ourselves by Islamic way all the days. Also, Valentine, Valentine, filthy day. It's not a holiday or a official stat holiday or any any of that. So yeah. if a wife said, oh, if you don't give me flower and chocolate and jewelry and gifts on the Valentine Day, I'm not going to allow you to touch me. Tell her, listen, I am a Muslim, you are a Muslim. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not a kafir to celebrate kafir day of yeah. love and, and filthy and dirt. If you want uh, chocolate and flowers and gifts, it will be the day before or the day after. But on that filthy, dirty day, we don't celebrate. And I don't want to hear that name at all from now on. Otherwise, you know your father's location. You can go and live with him. He will celebrate it for you. That's it. And remind them that whenever a woman refuses her husband, she has the curse of Allah. The that angels, is a, it is the a big sin. And everything on her. Yes. Yeah, so tell her it's chocolates on a Kafir holiday worth having the curse of Allah, the angels, the El Hurin, and everyone else on you. We and have to we bring need to, them back to Islam. We need to change our mind. Don't, don't say to your husband, don't touch me except to give me something. You know, it is if you allow him to touch you, it is a ibadah, it is a deen. And you obey Allah. When you obey your husband, you obey Allah. You are not obey your husband, but you are obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Exactly. Exactly. Look at the blessings you get every time you satisfy your husband. SubhanAllah, sisters. We have to think like Muslims instead of thinking like half for women. We are not making satisfaction for uh, people. We try to satisfy our creator, our sustainer, subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the day of relationship without marriage. Yes. So yeah. how come Correct. how come yes. how come people who are married Islamically wants to celebrate the Valentine dirty filthy day? This is yeah. for haram people the daughter of haram and the son of haram to hang out somewhere in haram and commit it haram and go jahannam. What is our business in that day? We have the day before or the day after. And why day after? We have any day we can make chocolate and make candy, make sweet and sweeten our days. Why in that specific day we have to follow the kafir? Are we... Uh, what happened to the... Oh, we, are, we, we raise awareness. Jazakallah khair, barakallah fi. And we have, a, we have, if you want to be open-minded and to be uh, intolerant and you know, be a gentleman, uh, you, you should be celebrate with a Muslims and to, be, uh, to, to bring a souvenir, to buy a souvenir. It is not uh, open-minded, but it is commit a sin. And you are disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are disobedient. The time to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and raise our flag of religion very high and say to everybody that day, specifically that day, you do nothing for your partner, wife. Yeah. Nothing. You give her nothing. Don't care. I will not, don't care. And no, don't don't care if you know and if someone say to well, us, why will you not celebrate? Tell him this is my deen. If you walk in the street and you say uh, and you have a sign, it is allow it is allowful to get across to cross in this road. You will stop. Also, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala told us it is a 
as a celebration, it is an occasion, it is unlawful. Exactly. We have to get back to being Muslims, guys, and stop trying to be like the Kafir. You know, yeah. just be, be Muslims. You should be happy mm. and in love with your husband every day. You know, your husband, you know, and you should eat chocolate together and do things like this on a regular basis. You don't need to follow the way of the Kafir. You know, so put them yeah. off. Well, yeah. This was a very good topic, uh, Dr. Saeed. The people need to be reminded of this. Any questions? Uh, uh, Sabrina, Thank go ahead. You. I'm sorry, <laughs> Sabrina. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You are welcome, yes, you are, you, Sabrina. You, you, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. This is a very good topic, and it's the right time of year because, uh, you know, correct me if I have this wrong, yeah. but twisted. <laughs> but um, I have heard from, you know, many times that. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said yeah. that toward the end of toward the, the last days or uh, the last hour, yeah. Muslims will begin to imitate the Christians and the Jews. Yeah. You know, and we see this happening every day because yeah. every time, not just with holidays, but with in every way, because like you said, they want to destroy. Our, yeah. our core belief yeah and they want to they that's why many times we can't even take them as friends because um they will not be happy until we live the way that they live yeah. they will not truly accept us until we become like them we have to remember what's important to us you know our religious values Allah, Allah is more important than their friendship, which is false anyway, you know, and we have to, we have to fight for this. This is part of the war, part of the, the, the battle that we live every day. Yeah. You know, we can't imitate them or follow them. Yeah. We, we need to evaluate our life to be according to the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes, and we have to teach our children at a yeah. very young age, you know, about these things too. And why, they have to know the reason why, you know, we have to sit down and talk to them and let them know that this is not a good thing. This is not a good thing. You know, to yeah. celebrate. This is this is a pagan thing and something that non-believers do. And we're not. And, and we need to be careful. Look at our school. They learn our children Halloween Day and uh, Valentine Day uh, to make our children like them when they are growing up. Oh, celebration. Halloween is a celebration also and mm -hmm. uh, Valentine's Day and you listen to many celebrations who are not here in, in all our lives. I am. Well, it is very strange. Yes, and all, mm -hmm. the, all the, you know, holidays that they separate, that they celebrate, they, they really do have in the schools and they really... Yeah, they are changing their aqidah. Yeah. Changing their aqidah to changing their culture to make, yeah. yeah. We are Man. living in a culture of finance. Mm. Yeah. Allah well, help us. Allah help yeah, us yeah. and save us and make Allah yeah. subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand how much dangerous to celebrate like yeah. Valentine Day and all these days. May Allah guide us to the right path, inshallah. Jazakallah. Mm. Yes. Sister Miriam wants to know, what about if you work in a place, she works in the daycare, and she has to pass out things and help the kids make cards, Valentine Day cards for her their parents. It's part of her job. She said, what does she do? 
it is not obligated to do that. Uh, you can tell your manager, please uh, make someone do that because it is uh, it is unlawful on my religion, on my deen. Try to invite people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to obey for everything, for money and for still, work, still working, do, I don't know. Uh, if you refuse, they will, they will not uh, uh, force you to do that. Yeah, that's true. Because here in America, when I used to be a substitute teacher, I would tell them that too. I said, you know, I'm a Muslim. It's against my religion to participate in this Christmas activity. So you can have one of the other parents do it, you know, or the, I mean, the other teachers do it, and I'll do something else. And you know, that's... Um, that's discrimination in Amer in America, Marianne. If you live in Ameri in America, they can't discriminate. They can't make you do that because your religion. You tell them if they try to make you do it, you'll call EEO, you'll call the, the Civil Rights Commission, and you'll file a, 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 a grievance against them, and they won't do that. And no, we, we need to we need to, we need to we need to we need to learn something. If something, uh, if anything, uh, make a difference between my religion. And uh, my word, please uh, take care. Your religion is first. Islam first. Religion first. Introduce your religion. Yeah, they'll respect it. They don't want no lawsuit. One thing to about respect America, our deen. Respect yeah. Joe, uh, Christian. Respect their deen, the religion. Joe respect their deen. Why we need to uh, make uh, give, give uh, a reasons to accept from our teaching, from our rules? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They're not going to make you do it. They have freedom of religion here. Yeah. They don't make the Jews do it either. Any other questions or comments? Uh, yes. Um, I want to share something with uh, you guys about uh, uh, it is uh, regards what we ha happening for the last three years. Um, yeah. I want to share it with the doctor um, Saeed in Arabic okay. and then he can translate in English. Uh, okay. Dr. Saeed, uh, في حديث قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم تداووا عباد الله فإن الله سبحانه لم يضع داء إلا وضع معه شفاء إلا الهرم yeah. رواه ابن ماجه وصححه الألباني إلا الهرم أي الكبر في السن والشيخ والشيخوخة الشيخوخة الحين العلاج هذا التطعيم واللي موجود عندنا في كندا أمريكا أغلبية المرسمين برفضوا التداوي أو أخذ التطعيم بقول لك إنه هذا يعني كلام فارغ ومع إنه في حديث شريف بقول لك تداوي تفضل أعملها بالإنجليزي بس في كذا كذا حد حتى من الأمريكان بيموتوا من الأطعيم والتطعيمات دي يعني أنا كان حتى عندنا في مصر كثير منهم تداوي يعني آه ماتوا خدوا اللي هو الصيني ده الصيني مجرد ما ياخد يجي له غلطة أو يموت على طول أنا بحكي عن الألماني الفايزر ومدرنا هذا ما أت... بيعمل أي دول نوع نوت 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 ميديكال بات باي ذا واي إن جنرال إف يو إف يو هاف ا ميديسين إف يو هاف ا إلنس أند يو ويل يو جيت ا ميديسين أند ذيس ميديسين ويل نوت Uh, increase your illness or not to make you more tired or more uh, patient. Yeah, you, you should be take your this medicine. But if we talk about cold, cold uh, we are uh, two views. Uh, many scientists say, many doctors say uh, this uh, uh, this medicine is not suitable or not safe, not safety, and also we have. Many doctors say, oh, it is made, it is safe, and you should be take it. Uh, you can ask a professional doctor, and, and it is different. Yani, 
بتختلف من شخص لاخر هي قناعات انا انا حقيقي ما خدتوش للاسف يعني ما مش للاسف يعني لاني لقيت حالات كتيرة حواليا خدته وحصل لها مضاعفات ان احنا ما فايدة مش عندنا احنا عندنا اللي هو آه. سيني فارم عارفه ما اه اي نو ذا جاربج ون سو يو دونت هاف فايزر اند مودرنا يو دونت هاف يا يا وي هاف نوت سايبر يا سيستر ليلى يا اي واز ريدنج حديث تو دكتور سعيد اتس سيزا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم تداووا عباد الله او سليف اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى تيك ذا ميديسن Yeah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never give uh, landed a disease on the earth uh, without giving uh, the cure. Yeah. Yeah. cure. So I was telling him about the vaccine, uh, Moderna and Pfizer. He said, I don't have it in Egypt. I have only, only the uh, Chinese killer vaccine because a lot of people in his neighborhood They take that uh, uh, vaccine, Chinese Sonopharm, and die. A lot of people yeah. die from it. it kill, it's killing them in Egypt. That's why Egyptian is not taking, majority of Egyptians not taking the vaccine because it's yeah. a killer. But they don't have in Egypt Pfizer and Moderna. You got me, Dr. Layla? Yeah. So, so he said uh, it's up to the uh, medical system in, uh, where we live in America. And yeah, it's it depend. It's it depend on the the medical system and oh yeah, uh, yeah. The, the mind. Do you uh, you you change you, you choose uh, as you want. Yeah, and you have two options and you have an option to choose. Yeah, we have the treatment here. We yeah, are we not obligate anyone to take or leave it. I don't know. You you need to take advice from your doctor or yeah for a uh, yeah. Yeah, here in America, they need to get the treatment because uh, we have the treatment here. Other places don't. They're not just Egypt, but there's another, uh, like brother, uh, my cousin was telling me that we did, in Saudi Arabia, Arabia, they were only giving it to a select few, you know. So, you know, but here in America, we all have the treatment, the Moderna and the Pfizer, so take it, you know. But other places don't have it. They're not offering it. Yeah, it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. You know, crazy. Yeah. yeah, so the yeah. you know, excuse yeah. us here. We need to take it. We have the treatment here. Take it exactly. So that's why I yeah. tell him, I to you, see you the didn't, uh, don't obligate anyone to take it or leave it. It is a uh, uh, it is his mind if he won't uh, take it or leave it. Yeah. No, yeah, uh, okay. you're Any right. Questions, guys? No. Okay, inshallah, Dr. Saeed, you can close out for us on uh, Facebook, inshallah. Okay, inshallah, we'll meet tomorrow, inshallah. Okay, so inshallah, tomorrow at 11.30, guys, this will be the Riyadh Salahin class. A lot of you were asking, that class is tomorrow, not today. So Riyadh Salahin will continue with the um, sincerity of intention hadith. Thank yeah. you for joining and Supana Kalahuma Wabi Hamdika, a shadow of my life.